episode number four from New York today. Just waiting for a good friend of mine, probably my oldest friend in the world of competitive eating, Carolina Reaper eating champion of the world, Wayne Algenio. And we're going to do a team pizza challenge. Quite glad it's a team challenge because uh, after that steak yesterday, even talking hurts. Wayne, hey, how's it going, man? What's up, buddy? Are you, are you ready? Oh, it's cold today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, buddy. Well, you said you've been eating candy on the way here. Yeah, Come on, man. Right, we need to be professional. I've yeah. already failed one on this trip already. <laughs> So Wayne's just told me that uh, this is in, we're, we're now in Connecticut. Oh, we've been in Connecticut for like the last hour, buddy. Okay. <laughs> so I can't really call this the, the Long Island miniseries now. I'm not too far away, actually. So we'll, we'll okay. be there in a little bit, actually. Maybe 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, it won't be ready then. Oh, yeah. We, we, I knew I came a little too early. Uh, I just yeah. wanted to make sure I was here on time. Right, right. Okay. He sounded old to me. You think? I feel like he is like in his 50s. That's not old. All right. I'm only right, like right. 15 years away from that. <laughs> Travel like two hours north and it's like Siberia. It's freezing here. My kneecaps actually hurt. I realize I complain a lot, but that's just me. Five guys flipping pies. Let's do this. Onward to victory. This is it. The five guys flipping pies. Goliath challenge. I like it. David and Goliath. I don't know if my, my travel health insurance covers this, but uh, hopefully. You didn't tell me it was this big. All right, we're at Five Guys Flipping Pies, about to take on the Goliath Challenge. What's the quickest time? 15 minutes and 30, 23 seconds. I don't know if we're gonna do it that quick. <laughs> How long do you actually get? An hour. You get an hour? Oh, okay, that's a relief. <laughs> This pizza's no joke. It's a big pizza. When you told me this was less than 30 inches, it's humongous. Okay, today we're at a place called Five Guys Flipping Pies, and we're taking on the Goliath Challenge, which is a huge pizza. You get a, 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 a it's like a tag team thing. So you get a team of two, you have to take it down in one hour. If you finish it, it's just free. Free. Yeah. Free pizza, you get a t-shirt. Oh, you do get a t-shirt. Yeah, and, uh, I mentioned it already, I think, but I'm here with my good friend, Wayne Arhanyon. He's, uh, he's got some shameless self-representing sub merch on. Promotion. Hey guys, sub. Thanks. Don't, don't worry, I'll leave a link in the, in, in the description box and I'll put up a card on screen to one of Wayne's videos, so go check him out. Before we start. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> you can't, man. Okay, we're definitely not going to beat the fastest record. We're definitely going to win, because I've got a beard on right now. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Let's I don't know where I'm actually going from first. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. That totally slipped off. <laughs> it's too loud. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. The fourth episode in what I can't really now call the Long Island miniseries because I'm somewhere in Connecticut, apparently. This is where you usually do the voiceover. It's here. <laughs> You've got to hand it to him. That, that was pretty good. I'll give him like a, an 8 out of 10. Anyway, today we're at a place called Five Guys Flipping Pies, which I think seems like kind of a, a copyright minefield because the guy answers the phone by saying, hello, Five Guys, uh, despite the fact that they are not, in fact, affiliated with the much-loved burger chain Five Guys. But uh, the food did taste good, so it's got that in common. And, uh, yeah, we're taking on their uh, Goliath Pizza Challenge, which is a two-man tag team food challenge. And if you can finish the pizza inside 60 minutes... Uh, accompanied by a partner. Not only do you get the meal free, but you uh, you get a sweet winner's t-shirt too, and um, only five teams in uh, quite a lot of years have actually finished this. You're getting slow in your old age, man. You're slower than me. <laughs> oh yeah, I am older than Beard. <laughs> you have beautiful skin though. You wouldn't think it. It's true, Wayne has really nice skin. <laughs> <laughs> which belies his 37 years. Anyway, this pizza weighs 10 pounds, according to the owner, who looked a little bit like Larry David. I hope you won't mind me saying. And this pizza is topped with uh, pepperoni and sausage. How's your jaw? 
Sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good advice. We're actually doing all right here, though. I mean, six minutes in, and we're, we're probably halfway through. There's nothing. I was waiting to see if he'd be nice enough to get me some. <laughs> totally wrong. The piece is great though. It's delicious. I, I don't know if Wayne just said that because I have a, a habit of overusing the D word, but it was delicious. You don't get to choose the toppings. As I mentioned, it's a fixed pepperoni and sausage topping, but it tastes good. I'm eating this like a pig. I noticed. <laughs> Yeah, but that was Wayne's fault. I thought, you know, you get 60 minutes to do this, should be a reasonably simple one. But as soon as Wayne noticed that the uh, the quickest time was held by a guy called Jeff Esper, who's actually the number two ranked competitive eater on the planet, and another guy who's never forget, um, he, he just he pretty much insisted that we go for the quickest time. Let's go. You can take that record. You're about influence. I just want Shut to... up, let's get it! <laughs> I just wanted to come here today, enjoy some pizza. But Wayne wants the record. <laughs> old school. Yeah, old school indeed. I apologize unreservedly if you're eating your lunch or dinner or, I don't know, brunch, supper, anything. It's, it's going to be over soon. Uh-oh. My hands are so greasy, I can't open this. <laughs> you animals. <laughs> Says the guy eating like that. <laughs> yeah, he's got me there. If he'd eaten with the fake beard on, then he would have known the struggle. How dare you call me an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I have to slow down to let you catch up. Clean that up, man. You're one of Randy's disciples. Come on. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you at the next one. It's hard. Uh. The owner says we're good. good. Hey. Oh, yeah. hey. That was, a, that was a good performance, right? That's going to piss off him. Be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we had, uh, Jeff had the record, right? Jeff yeah. Esper, who was like the second ranked eater in the, in in the, the world. Uh, uh, yeah, on the entire planet. Yeah. So take that, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Now you know how it feels. That's the struggle of a bearded man. You know, I kind of wanted to leave the, the beard on so I could do one of these. <laughs> I, I started off quite quick and I slowed down when I realized you were, you know, you this were lolly was a, <laughs> This was a team challenge. The only race yeah, yeah. was against first place. I didn't think we would I didn't think we would get anywhere near it, mate. I thought we would do some like 20, 25. So I mean there's some hope for us. Yeah. We still got it, we're not so old. <laughs>